Remember, it's a war zone out there. If you're looking to skip the grind for items in Fallout 76, visit the link in the description to go to AOA.com. Use code RALSAY at checkout for 3% off your order. Alright, hello everyone. Welcome back to another Fallout 76 weapon guide. Today we have the Nuka Grenade. The gift from Todd Howard himself. I know, it's not a weapon per se, it's a grenade, but it's important. For all the people out there grinding experience, you need these, you want these, they're good, they're helpful. They make farming West Tech a literal joke. Um, because the explosions go through walls, which not a lot of explosions do that. Um, and it has a hidden effect. If you're carrying an instigating weapon, that one that double damage against targets with full health also applies to your grenade. So it's dealing double damage, and it hurts really bad. So, yeah, and it also applies if you're doing bloodied, but instigating is a million times better. You don't want to have a bloodied weapon out. So the build is not that important. All you really need for these... Hornets Express, Fire in the Hole, and Grenadier, Fireproof so you don't die. Tenderizer for that damage, even though it might not really apply. Maybe it does. Demolition Expert, of course. Um, and where is adre and Adrenaline, very important. Now, if you were doing XP farming, you'd want to have a full set of Unyielding. You'd want to be full bloodied. You'd, you'd want to be doing all these different buffs, eating fucking cranberry relish and... Uh, brain bombs and then taking berry mint hats and then bobbleheads and it's so much shit but once you do all that shit you're getting like 4,000 experience per kill on double xp weeks anyway um and oh yeah ricochet is important too but this is not i'm not doing the whole bloody the yielding thing today this is just um me and power armor trying to survive and just showing off the grenades um mutation the mutation uh adrenal reaction is extremely important um, to give you a bit more damage and uh, taking one for the team as well just in case if they do start shooting you and uh, base special 5, 12, 3, 3, 6, 12, 15 none of that really matters this is just to show off the grenade and the perks that will make its damage better um, it's, this isn't a build you can't I mean I'm sure you can make a fucking build specifically tailored to uh, nuka grenades but if you wouldn't want to do that you'd be pretty annoying in events but uh, let's head over to West Tech and get to nuking baby Alrighty, we're here at West Tech with the Nuka Grenades and my instigating weapon. So let's uh, get to... What the fuck? This happens sometimes and is extremely annoying. The game bugs out when you get into power armor, so your Nuka Grenades throw higher than they should. Um, but with fire in the hole, you can still accurately figure out where they're going to go. It's just fucking so annoying to deal with. This would happen all the time during the uh, most sensational game expedition, which just made it so annoying to do. Um, this guy doesn't want to die, so get the fuck out of my face. Um, and uh, I think we've almost already cleared the place out. That should just about get them all. Almost. No, I think it, I think it did. Yep, it got them all. Yeah, that's the nuke grenade. Pretty overpowered. I'm going to go ahead and step out on my power armor and get back in it to fix the fucking grenade throwing glitch. Something they haven't fixed for years and it's just so annoying to deal with. And, uh, you know, fixing this glitch, you could also lock yourself in your power armor and you can't move and you either have to wait or server hop too, which is uh, just another really fun thing. And it still still didn't fix it. I think, forget how you, I forget how you fix this problem. Um, maybe you unequip and reequip them. Nope, you don't. All right, whatever. Just gonna have to deal with it. All right, we're inside of West Tech with the Nuka Grenade. So I'm gonna do this the way I do it when I farm experience. You go over here, you open up this terminal right here. It's going to be annoying to get this to land properly because of the glitch going on right now uh, with my throwing thing. Like, I gotta... This is so fucking stupid. Right there. And then I run away, and that should literally almost clear out that entire room. Throw one right through these windows. This is so fucking stupid. I forget how you fix this dumbass bug. But we're going to have to just persevere through it. Um, let's just throw one right here. Run in here. Throw one right here, run over here, throw one right here, I mean look at it, I mean, it's not really hurting me either, and damn everything's just so bright. This is just a fun gun to use, or a fun grenade anyway. The rads can be a little annoying and might kill me honestly if I'm not careful, but look at that, we've already cleared out all of this, they're, they're all dead already. Let's, uh, well, maybe at least I can get my grenade to land in there with this stupid fucking bug. Can I move, please? Hey, look at that. Look at look at how annoying that is. I really wish they'd fix that, but, uh, uh, they won't. But, yeah, let's run in here. I'm pretty sure most of the enemies in here are already dead, but I will give, I'll just give it another little once-over. 
Throw one right here in the middle. And yeah, that should that's it. We killed them all. We cleared we cleared out West Tech that fast. That's why nuclear grenades are so important when you're doing XP farming. It makes it a joke. It makes it the easiest thing in the world. But I want to see how many it takes to kill. How many nuclear grenades does it, does it take to get to the center of the big man? Let's uh, let's find out. And we're here at Swallowman's Pond with the nuke grenades. Let's uh, let's see how they do. Maybe I'll make one on the quantum grenades. But the quantum grenades are not good. I mean, they do more damage, but the penetration effect isn't there, and the AOE isn't there. So. Yeah, that, that sucks. Look at this glitch, dude. Let's just get one right there. That's one. They'll blow up on top of each other, so I don't want to do that. I just want to throw them sequentially. Here's a second one for them. Two. It's going to take like five, probably. Three. Four. He kind of just tanked that one. Five, yeah, it's gonna take six. Six. All right. Well, that that's the big man taken down with six nuka grenades. That should that should do it. That's the nuka grenade. Essentially, the most important item for XP farming, because um, you saw how fast it just cleared out West Tech. I mean, if you're doing it the efficient way, you wouldn't do it that way. You would just throw three of them in three specific areas, and then walk out and walk back in after waiting a minute, and. Um, yeah, you just get boo coop experience. That's why I have 47 levels. Um, but, uh, yeah, that should do it. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, peace out.